Welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to take a look at creating modular HTML templates using your design. Now, the method is relatively the same for InDesign, Illustrator, or Photoshop, depending on what you're using. But in this particular example, we're going to be working with a PSD. So what we have here is we have a template that uh, generally has sections for a header, uh, footer, and content. And you can see here from our layer structure. Now, with our actual elements, what we've done is that that we've isolated them where we're working with external PSD files. So let's take a look quickly at the PSD files. We're working with our content, our footer, and our header. Let's actually just drag these in so we can take a look. Now you'll see that what we have is we have each of our sections and what they are is these are relative layers that have been basically removed from our original template to limit the layers that are exported within each design. So what this will do is it will not only modulate your design, but it will also allow you to have a faster export because you're working with smaller files. So this is great for a larger project that you have that may encompass many, many layers. This way you can simply modulate your project and have a much faster export. So within our actual design, we can see here that our design is limited to 1200. So we want to ensure that the modules that we load also match that document width. And you can see here that each of them do. So we're just going to close these. Uh, we don't want to make any changes to anything. Now, if we were to export simply this on its own, you'll note that nothing will load because this is only the template. So let's head over to HTML5. We don't need to customize anything. Let's just give it a second to complete. OK, so if we go ahead and we take a look at the actual output itself, you'll see here that basically nothing loaded. And this is because our template file on its own will host information, but it's actually looking for a template to generate the content from. So we can fix this very quickly. Now, there are two ways to correct this issue. One, what we can do is let's just go back. We could export each of these individually, but if we have a very large project which encompasses, let's say, you know, possibly 50 PSDs, we might not want to do this all one by one. So what we've already done is we've already created an options file. Because of this, we're going to, and we've covered in other videos how to create your options file, we're going to run a batch, and this will work with 1, 20, 50 PSDs. It's completely up to you, uh, your design structure. So I know the folder path, and basically for your project, you'd have to navigate to the actual folder. So let's just go ahead and let's select this folder. And let's run the batch. Now, we're going to wait until the batch completes, but what this will do in essence is basically process all the PSDs within your folder. So this makes it great that if you have a very large project, you can now uh, render and export much smaller PSDs so you can modulate your content and have a faster output. So let's just wait for this to complete. Now, once the batch is complete, uh, we can just go ahead and take a look at the output itself. You'll see here that what it did was it created each individual file that was required in our batch or in our actual folder. And now what we can do is we can simply refresh our page. And you'll see now that the template has loaded all the modular content uh, based on our actual PSD structure. So you can see now easily we can create modular HTML designs and also have a faster export using Export Kit.